Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Olivia. If you're new here, I am very, very excited about today's video because this is my best and my biggest gift guide ever. And there are so many items that I am very excited to share because a lot of these items I already own myself or they're items that I would absolutely love to receive as a gift. If you are wanting to shop, I will be sure to link everything that I can down in the description box down below. And then I'll also link it on my Amazon and like to know it. The first category that we're going to dive into is home items. So the first gift that I'm wanting to mention is one of my favorite gifts to receive and that is candles. I have them everywhere in our house. I am always so thrilled and ecstatic when I receive a candle. I'm burning one right now. I feel like they're really easy gifts to like pick out for somebody because you can kind of just pick out more of like a neutral scent. Now something that's candle related is a candle warmer and this is such a great gift because this is probably not something that I would buy myself but I would love to receive one. I heard that they're really great for like like burning the candle and like letting off a really light scent. It also like burns the candle a lot slower so you get a lot more use out of it. And of course, it's not nearly as hazardous as actually having a flame in your house. Another gift idea that's kind of candle related would be an electric lighter. I use ours all the time. I love that you can just plug it in the wall if you need to charge it. It lights a candle really fast. You never have to worry about it running out. And it's just great to like keep in your drawer. You don't need to have like seven lighters in your drawer. You can just have one electric light. If you're wanting to go with something that is scented, you could also get a diffuser. I use ours all the time. If I'm not burning a candle, I'm usually using our diffuser. I often prefer to use our diffuser just because I don't have to worry about blowing out the candle. Like I'm so fearful that we'll leave the house and I'll forget that a candle is burning. Another scented gift idea would be room sprays. They're really great to just keep anywhere in your house. If you just wanna do a quick little spritz before people come over, if you just wanna freshen up a room without using a diffuser or a candle, or you could even keep them in the bathroom. I purchased some from Sage and I love their stuff. Their scents are just incredible but of course you can get them from many other places amazon i pick some up from home sense as well as reed diffusers i love keeping one in the bathroom that way the bathroom just always smells good so i keep one in our master bathroom as well as the main floor my personal favorite which is definitely a splurge would be the joe malone it is the peony and suede suede and peony or peony and suede it is so incredible my little trick is not putting all of the sticks in it i just put an as many sticks in that helps the bathroom like smell good but not using all of them unless it kind of goes through the oil quite quickly so it's a splurge but it lasts super long if you have somebody in your life who just loves like an aesthetic looking home i feel like a coffee table book would be such a great gift idea because it's not something that you use very often it's kind of like one of those things you just buy and it usually sits there nobody really opens it but so nice to have and they are just so visually aesthetic of course you can get some really nice ones some of them are like over a hundred dollars they're absolutely beautiful but you could go for a more affordable option or even look like at secondhand like thrift stores and things like that I feel like it's less about like what the book actually is and more about like how the book looks if you've got a self-care queen in your life a journal is such a great gift I absolutely love the five minute journal that's probably like my favorite journal because it gives me the prompts I'm not very good at like just journaling off the top of my head I just like don't get excited about doing that you could also opt for something like a 2024 daily planner or even a productivity journal like I love productivity it can focus on their water intake their work their relationship goals like so many different kind of aspects of their life they can focus on I think it was for my birthday last year but Chris got me the hatch sound machine and I absolutely love it this thing can do so many different Different things I mostly use it for the light feature I love that you can like pretty much change it to any color I use like the red one when it's late at night or for waking me up in the morning and of course it's an alarm too but you have so many different features it has like nighttime routines morning routines there's so many like different kinds of things it can do blankets are just something that you can never have enough of like honestly the more the merrier I think we have like five blankets in every single room but when people come over when the kids are cozying up on the couch I'm like I want everyone to have their own blanket I just purchased one recently from Amazon. It's this really beautiful ribbed one and it's held up so well. I washed it many times. They also have this really pretty like quilted kind of looking one and I don't own this one but I've been eyeing it up for a really long time and it's really cute too. If you wanted like a higher end option you could go for something like an Ugg blanket. Theirs are always really beautiful as well. 
Now I've never tried weighted blankets, but I've heard wonderful things about them, especially if you know that somebody like really likes being like cozy or maybe struggles with a little bit of like anxiety. I feel like who wouldn't love having like a little bit of like weight and warmth on top of you. One of my all time favorite purchases lately is my vanity mirror that has a light in it. I absolutely love our washroom. We have a really nice big mirror, but I get a lot of side light in our washroom. And of course with the sun going down at like what, four o'clock, it gets dark really fast and putting on my makeup at night has been a struggle since forever especially in the winter months so it's so nice to be able to have a light that just brightens up my face so I can like put on my makeup or even like put, do my skincare at night like it's just really nice to have like a well lit face so you can actually see what you're doing. Now, Chris and I absolutely love board games. I don't know if we're like a weird couple or if this is like normal, but like we love board games. Anytime we have people over, we're like, do you guys wanna play a game? And like we can tell sometimes people aren't board game people, so we don't push up. Our personal favorites right now are currently Settlers of Catan. That's definitely like a very like high strategy kind of game. It takes a while to learn. So if you are wanting to like learn it, just be really patient with it. It's very fun, but I also feel like it's a lot of brain power. So if you want something that's a little bit more simple we also really like the board game quirkle or even like sequence that's one that we've played like I played since I was a kid those are all great games if you want to opt for like a card game that isn't just like your regular deck of cards you could could go for something like five crowns such a great game it's kind of like a rummy kind of style of game rummy What's it called? Rummy? Rummy 500? But Five Crowns is incredible. And then we've also been loving Monopoly a deal. It's kind of like similar rules to Monopoly, but it's not the whole board game setup. It's just a deck of cards. So both Five Crowns as well as the Monopoly deal are also great for traveling too. Quick Coca-Cola break. Okay, moving along into the next category, we're going to talk more about kitchen specific home things. So obviously there's so many different things that you could get somebody in the kitchen, but there are some things that I feel are such a great gift where other things are like things that I would way rather just like purchase myself because I'm a lot more particular with some things. So the first thing that I feel like is such a great gift idea is cookbooks because you can really never have enough cookbooks, especially for somebody who like loves following recipes. And of course there's some people who like following recipes online, some people who really like having like a physical cookbook but there are so many incredible cookbooks out there a few that come to mind that I really love are the Magnolia the half-baked as well as the Jillian Harris one I am asking for the new Jillian Harris one I think it's called Fuller Hearts for Christmas this year serving utensils is also such a great gift because I feel like you can never have enough of them and if there's something I'm always like running out of when we have people over I would say it's like enough utensils for the dishes so you could get like spoons for dishes or like a salad serving set or even like a charcuterie set. I love making charcuterie boards and it's so helpful having like the actual proper like little knives to go along with it so that people can serve themselves. Something else that I also feel like you can never have enough of is serving like plates and bowls, like big ones to put food on. I love having different options depending on like what we're serving, different like sizes, portion sizes and stuff. My personal favorite place to get them is Crate and Barrel, but it is a little bit more of a splurge so you can also find them like Superstore has really great ones again home sense home goods um, which is the same thing home sense is just the Canadian version of home goods um, but also of course like Amazon always pretty much anything that I'm mentioning in this video if I talk about a higher end option you can usually find like a more affordable option on Amazon water bottles are always such a great gift I personally don't think I'll ever go back from now using one with an actual handle and a straw I drink so much more water this way my personal favorites are the Stanley or the simply modern ones I just love how like clean and aesthetic looking they are hydroflask also has one I saw that they come out with that like is leak proof but I don't really worry my lid is not on that at all like this is risky biz what another thing I probably have way too many of is coffee cups but like I'd be so excited to receive more or receive like special unique ones I really love the clear coffee cups that have like really pretty designs on them they either have like dots or ribbing on them I also have a couple of the glass clear ones that are like double walled which is so nice because then they don't get as hot on the outside I don't have to worry about burning my hand I also find that they keep my coffee hotter a little bit longer or you could get somebody one that's more customized maybe with their initial on it or or even with like a cute little quote or saying the ember mug is like a very fancy coffee mug I received this as a gift and it's so great for somebody who like can't keep their coffee or tea hot enough long enough like a mom 
it's like I reheat my coffee if I'm not using the Ember mug like four times. So it's such a great gift to give somebody because a lot of people don't want to spend that kind of money on a coffee cup themselves. Our most used kitchen appliance is definitely an air fryer. Highly, highly recommend whether you live alone or you have a big family. We have used ours since we've lived together and it probably gets used nearly every single day. On average, probably daily because some days we use it multiple times a day, some days very occasionally we don't use it at all but i love it we have the brand kasori but there's tons of different brands out there and there's also different sizes i will link the exact one that we have and use down below because it's just like the perfect size and it's big enough which for our family of four is important to us i find we hardly even use our oven now it's like if it fits in the air fryer we're cooking it in the air fryer something else that we use daily is our nespresso machine so a coffee machine is such a great gift especially if you know that somebody maybe needs like a new one or an upgrade or just as like a coffee lover if you want to splurge of course there's like there's a lot of variety you can spend on a coffee machine you could go for something like a keurig or a nespresso machine we have the virtuo which i love um you could always Ways go with a little bit more higher end like the Smeg or the Breville. There's even some like super, super high end ones. So depending on what you're wanting to spend, you have lots of different options. Of course, I think that somebody would always be so excited to receive like even like a gift card to like Nespresso or something like that too. When I was thinking about different gift ideas, I was thinking about the Smeg coffee machine because I thought that it just look, looked really pretty. Not that I like necessarily like really, really want it, but I just love the look of Smeg and it got me thinking about the Smeg toaster too. I thought a toaster is like a really great gift idea because a lot of people like won't upgrade it until it's like they need a new one and there's so many cute aesthetic ones on the market now too not saying you need to spend that amount and like get a smeg one but there's also really cute um like very aesthetic looking ones on amazon um from walmart i don't own one of these but for somebody who's like a baker or a big cook a KitchenAid would be such a great gift. Definitely more of a splurge, um, but there's different like sizes and kind of price ranges. So depending on how often you think they'll use it, what they'll use it for, you can kind of choose what you feel is the best fit for them. If they already have a KitchenAid, there's so many different attachments. Like I had no idea how many attachments this thing you can purchase for this thing. You could even get something like a pasta maker or I think like even one of them is like a bread bowl maker. So there's so many different kinds of like attachments. This is a gift idea that Chris asked for this year and that is a pizza oven. I find we don't even use our barbecue very often. So I'm like, I just don't really see us using a pizza oven that often, but a great gift idea nonetheless. Something that I asked for this year is a rice maker. How nice to just be able to put your rice in it, leave it on the counter. I love that it keeps it warm. I feel like some people are just like La Crusette lovers and if you've got a La Crusette lever in your life, there's so many different kitchen options. They of course have like their cast iron skillets. They also have their casserole dishes. They have their Dutch ovens, which Chris asked for a Dutch oven this year. And I looked into La Crusette and did not realize that these things are like $500. I definitely had no idea how much they costed. And I don't think that we'll use it that much to be able to justify it. But again, if you're wanting to splurge on somebody and you think that they would use it and love it, such a great gift because they definitely last a life time. During my La Crusette search, I came across caraway pans and now that's what I found myself asking for for Christmas. The beige set is just stunning, beautiful. Absolutely love it. I was also considering the Our Place pans too. They have like a pan and a Dutch oven as well as like some other different kitchen accessories too. So that's just like another brand of like really pretty aesthetic looking kitchen wear. If you've got a tea lover in your life, you could get them a new kettle. They also have this fancy brand called Fellow Stag. I've never tried it myself, but it just looks beautiful. And there's tons of different colors that you can get and it heats your water up really quickly and it also keeps it warm for an hour, like to a specific temperature for an hour. So it's perfect if you know that somebody likes having like a couple cups of tea or they just like are constantly using their kettle. Our Japanese knives, again, are something that is probably one of our most used items in our house. We have three different knives, different sizes, and they are incredible. Definitely an investment. That would be such a good gift idea to give to somebody who is a cook in your life. If you don't want to go for um, like a regular kitchen knife, you could get somebody some new steak knives. I feel like glassware is like so fun to gift people and fun to receive too. So like new champagne glasses or new wine glasses. My sister-in-law gifted me ribbed wine glasses last year 
and I'm still over the moon about them and it's been a whole year. Sticking with the wine theme, you could always get somebody a decanter, great to have for some reds to let them aerate, or you could get them an electric wine opener. So Chris corks bottles of wine all the time. <laughs> Not all the time, but more often than he should. And the electric wine opener that I got just off of Amazon has saved him because you just press down one button, it goes down. You keep holding the same button, it brings it back up, the cork up, and then your wine's good to go. Okay, moving into the next category, we're gonna dive into clothing. So first thing that's always such a great gift to receive is socks. You can never have enough of them. There's so many different styles that you could go for. You could go for fuzzy socks. You could go for like crew socks. I used to get the ones from Aritzia, the TN ones but then I started getting the ones from Amazon they're a lot more affordable you get more in a pack and I like them just as much you could also go for some slouch socks or even some more sporty like Nike socks too matching sweats are so in and I hope that they never go out of style so many different places you can buy them from but my personal favorite places to get them from are probably Abercrombie skims and Amazon something else that you could never have enough of is comfy PJs I love being comfortable all the time especially on the weekends on the evenings all the time. I work from home so I'm always in comfies. My favorite places to look for pajamas is probably Skims if you want to like splurge on somebody. Amazon has great ones too and I've also found a lot that I love from Target. I've seen the brand Durf literally everywhere and they have the really cute like fruit ones. Slippers are a perfect gift especially if you know that somebody likes to wear them. I have a few pairs of Uggs that I love so much and I also have a few pairs from Amazon. Those are like the only two places that I usually get my slippers from depending on if I'm wanting to splurge or save and I love them. I just like having them in like different rooms and being able to put them on my feet and keep me cozy. There's also the Ugg Tasman which is like an indoor slipper or you could also wear it outdoor if you want to. There's the Ugg Clogs. I personally wear them indoor but they are they can be also outdoor shoes too. Um, or you could get somebody just Uggs for boots for outerwear. You could get the Ultra Minis, which are so cute. The platform ones, so many different options. And I was very happy to see that Uggs came back in style. Sticking with shoes, cloud slides are always a really great gift. Again, perfect for somebody who wants to wear them around the house or also just wants something super comfortable to wear out. I would say Adidas or Amazon is my top two favorite places to get them. I've also purchased some really nice slides from Lululemon and they're not outrageously expensive expensive but they're really great quality they've held up really well too adidas are probably like my most worn shoes right now i love my gazelle bolds i wear the platform version of them they're super comfortable i have them in black and white the sambas are also very very popular right now too i personally don't have them myself but they are beautiful so such a great gift for somebody my other favorite style of shoe which has been for years is converse i love the platform converse and the high top version i like told myself for so long i couldn't wear high tops and now now I'm like, I don't ever see myself not wearing high tops. If you know somebody who loves just being like warm and cozy day to day, a uh, like fuzzy sweater is a perfect gift. I love the ones that went viral on TikTok. They are from uh, Old Navy. They're half zips. I have it in cream and red and they also have full zips that are really nice too. I have the full zip in cream. So that's a great gift to give somebody because they're oversized sweaters. So you also don't have to like be like super spot on for size either you can kind of just guess or just get you know the bigger size for a little bit more oversized who doesn't love oversized or lululemon has an incredible one in the men's section chris has it in cream and black and we both love it like one of us is always wearing them another cozy great idea would be a robe you could get somebody a lightweight one that they can like throw on and do their makeup in or you could get them one that's a little bit more of like a towel kind of waffly material that they can wear right out of the shower or a super like fuzzy plush one skin and that Durf place. They both have like so many, so many nice options. Graphic tees I feel like are just never going out of style and you can never have enough of them. Who doesn't love an oversized shirt? My favorite place to get them is usually Urban Outfitters or Revolve. One of my most worn jackets is my Lululemon puffer vest as well as my full puffer jacket. Love them both so much. Definitely a little bit more of a splurge, but it has been super worth it. I've had them both for like a few years now and I wear them the most out of any of my jackets. They're so warm and the vest is perfect for all seasons. The puffer keeps me so warm even when it's minus 30 and it is brutal temperatures here. Aritzia also has some really nice ones or if you wanna go with an option that's maybe a little bit more affordable, I've seen some really great ones at Zara too. Moving into accessories. 
accessories. So, so many different accessories that you could give someone, but some of like my top picks are jewelry. Amazon has so many great jewelry options if you're looking for something that is affordable. I'll be sure to include some of my favorites down below and in my storefront. There's also tons of really great local companies if you're wanting to support local, or you could even go for something that's maybe a little bit more higher end like majority. If you want to get somebody something that's like jewelry related, but you don't really know what kind of jewelry to pick out for them, you could always pick them out a jewelry case. I have a little small square one from Amazon and I use it every single time I travel. I love that it keeps my jewelry organized safe and all in one place if you want to get somebody a little bit bigger of a gift you could get them like a new jewelry like holder or case for all of their jewelry at home that they keep maybe in their closet or in their washroom a jewelry dish is also really cute too where they can take their rings off and put them in there when they're showering or sleeping or a jewelry cleaner I got mine off Amazon I use it all the time for my ring and for my solid gold jewelry I don't wear a lot of sterling silver but I can definitely throw that in there too and it just cleans and shines it up so nice all I have to do is fill it up with water it makes some buzzing noise because it's like a hydrosonic kind of feature and I set the time and I usually shower while it's in there and it comes out sparkly clean. I'm currently using like a small wallet and it is the perfect size because it can literally fit in any bag so you could get somebody a card case or like a small mini wallet tons of different places you can get them from michael kors lululemon kate spade is where i got mine from or you can go for like a more higher end brand if you choose to also of course belt bags are super in right now i personally love the two liter ones from lululemon but they also have the really cute puffer one that came out as well as the sherpa option a new backpack is always great too my favorite place to get backpacks from is usually Lululemon or if you want to get them something that's a little bit bigger you could get them a weekend bag again Lululemon or Bays they have so many nice pieces um, if you're wanting to get somebody something that's even bigger you could go for like actual luggage too. maybe go with just one single piece of luggage like a carry-on or you could even get them the full set if you know they're already set for luggage you could get them some new bag tags I feel like they get really beaten up over time so a new bag tag is always nice or a passport holder I love using my passport holder because I can put like my cash or cards in it or even like keep a little pen in it for whenever I need a pen to go through customs. A couple other accessories would be a, like a baseball cap. I love the 47, I don't really know what they're called, but they're like the sports teams ones. They're probably my most worn ones, but I also get them from Lululemon or Aritzia. And a toque is always a great gift too, especially if they live somewhere really cold like I do. I love the one that I have from Lululemon. I also gifted one um, to Chris from... Canada Goose and it's really really great quality and super warm. I guess to go along with a hat you could also get them gloves too whether it's like skiing snowboarding gloves or gloves for when they're driving or shoveling like the driveway. Moving into beauty now I didn't really get specific with like exact makeup products because I feel like a lot of different makeup products are so so individualized like color preference brand like it's just so personal so I did try to stay like a little bit more broad so first gift idea would be a hair mask who doesn't love like a good hair mask for a deep deep condition my favorite is the Briogeo or the Amica I've been using the same leave-in conditioner for years like several years now it's the Unite 7 Second Detangler such a great gift I've gifted it to many people the bottle also lasts me so long because I only use like a few spritz every time I wash my hair Sticking with the hair kind of theme, you could get somebody a new brush. I love the wet brush. That way I'm not breaking my hair when I'm brushing it when it's wet, but I can also use it dry too. You could get somebody some new headbands that they can wear like out and about or headbands that are great for like doing your makeup. I love this spa one. Or you could even get the ones that are like towel all the way around for when you're washing your face. You can get the little towel things for around your wrist too. Um, claw clips are always great. They have these cute little like barrette things that you can put Put in your hair here when you're doing your makeup again keeps your makeup out of your face but it also doesn't leave those little marks on your hair a silk pillowcase is a great gift or even some new hair ties or hair perfume the one that kind of comes to mind is the um moroccan oil or jesu 
I'm butchering that, but both of those smell incredible. If you're wanting to splurge on somebody and you know they like love a really good hair tool, you could get them the Shark like air wrap thing or even the Dyson air wrap. If they already have a Dyson or a Shark, there's tons of different attachments that you can get them to. So maybe you could get them like the new longer barrel or the big like blowout round brush. I saw that Dyson came out with both of those. So you could get some them some different attachments. If you're not sure like what they have or like what they need you could also get them a gift card for like one of those websites too or even just like a sephora gift card overall like i get so excited about sephora gift cards last year chris got me the dyson blow dryer which i didn't ask for it was just like a surprise gift and i was like so grateful and so excited but i was like i don't know if i can justify it like i don't know how often i'll use it and i was considering returning it but he couldn't find the receipt anywhere so i was stuck with the blow dryer grateful but stuck with it and i love this thing like i use it all the time especially because i have so much hair with having extensions another hair tool that i swear by is my mint curling rod again i've been using it for years it's the extra long barrel i have it in the 1.25 as well as the 1.5 and i don't think there's a better curling iron out there like truly it is perfect and it's held up so well over years and years I use the 1.25 like day to day I'll use the 1.5 if I want more of like a blowout kind of look but it definitely doesn't hold my curl for a few days which is why I usually gravitate towards the 1.25 if you know that somebody is like on their hair care hair health journey and they're maybe trying to like take better care of their hair you could get them the no heat curling rods the ones that you put in at night and then you sleep on them or you like put them in for a few hours and then you take them out and your hair looks all stunning and curly. And of course, perfume and cologne is always so good. If you want to maybe not spend as much, you could go for more of like the travel size or there's even some like more affordable options like um, Urban Outfitters or Zara has some really great ones that are like dupes for more expensive brands. Um, Actually, I don't think Urban Outfitters are dupes, but the Zara ones are definitely dupes. Or you could go for the travel size ones, or of course there's different sizes that you can get. My personal favorites for perfume, which is the one I've been wearing for the last probably like two years, is the YSL Black Opium. This year I'm asking Chris for the Burberry Goddess, but the Burberry Her is also so, so nice. And of course you could get cologne for the mans in your life. Body sprays are always an option too. My personal favorite is the Sol de Janeiro. I will say that it doesn't stay and last that long, unfortunately. Unfortunately, but I still love it. It's just nice to like spritz something on when I'm like I want something But I don't want to like smell like perfume lip gloss is the perfect gift because it's something that can kind of work for anyone Especially if you're just going with like a more neutral shade The two that I recommend if you're just gifting to somebody if you don't really know exactly what they like or what kind of tones They like would be the summer Friday. I literally have it right here. love it so much This one's my favorite as well as the mint and then I also really love the Tarte Maracuja both of those are probably like my most used like day-to-day -day lip glosses you could also go for an eyeshadow palette makeup brushes a makeup brush holder you could get them a makeup bag for at home that's maybe a little bit bigger or like a makeup travel bag that's maybe a bit smaller or even a certificate to a nail salon or to get their hair done or to go and get a massage like those are just I know that sometimes people feel like gift cards are like a cop-out but sometimes they're the best gift to receive because I'm like I can kind of go do what I want with it and like go have an experience, you know, go make a day out of it. And the next category is some different tech options. Kindle, such a great gift to give somebody who loves reading books. I personally don't use it as much as I should because I'm always wanting to be a better, more frequent book reader than I actually am, but I do like it when I get into a book. I feel like people are always using headphones, whether it's the ones that go like in your ear, like the AirPods. And I also think that the over the ear ones are great too. Apple has a pair, but again, I also have the Bose ones and I've had them for years, love them. They've held up so well. They're still like brand new and I use them all the time for working, for sounding out just the noise in the house for traveling, they're perfect. You could also give somebody a Polaroid camera or you could even get somebody like a Polaroid printer so they can basically take the pictures they have on their phone and like print them into Polaroids or you could get somebody like a regular 
like photo printer so it prints them in like a four by six and that's what I got as a gift a few years ago for my brother-in-law and I love it because I'm able to just print out like new family photos new pictures of the kids and update the pictures in our house I also love using it to print photos for other people if I'm wanting to like add something to their gift I'll just go to the store grab a photo frame stick or like print a photo and then stick it in there and like add that to their little gift we use our Google home all the time we have a few of like the small ones which we honestly don't use it as often but we have the Google home with the screen on it I think that there's like a like a Amazon Alexa version of it we use that one in our kitchen all the time whether we're playing music listening to podcasts I'm looking up recipes I'm looking up conversions asking Google something asking the weather like we use it every day it's so great you could also give somebody just a regular speaker too of course so many different sizes I got Chris a small Bose one for his golf bag last year um there's the medium size ones there's also like the really big ones if you know that somebody just likes a good time and they want some good loud tunes I thought the aura ring is such a great gift idea because again it's a little bit more of like a splurge and it kind of like does a lot of the same things as like the apple watch or the fit Fitbit but it also tracks your sleep too and you don't have to charge it as often which is one of like my personal favorite things about it I don't personally own it but again it'd be a really nice gift to receive especially for like a health and wellness kind of person in your life Chris gifted me a tarragon and I love it there's so many different versions of it there's a smaller version I'll also link the one that I have and it's so great for somebody who just needs a little bit of like massage relief in their life so that takes us to the end of this gift guide I'll be sure to link everything that I can down below as well as on Amazon and I'm going to keep posting more gift guides on my like to know it so I will link my LTK below as well thank you so much for watching this video I hope you found some really great gift ideas for yourself but also for the loved ones in your life too so thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one bye